Hello students, welcome back. Last week we finished our unit, unit four, which was about the world of TV. Now we finished our unit with the lesson about the project and we had the project to design any kind of storyboard about a film genre that you can choose and talk about the basic scenes as we explained in the lesson. Now we are going to move on with the same topic which is about watching different things. Now we have the world of TV in general. We said that there are different, different things that you can watch on TV. For example, we talked about, we have here films. We have also shows, like for example, cooking shows, programs, sports, news, documentaries. Now these are just examples of the different types of programs and the things that we can watch on TV. And we are going to add something which is commercials. Now, I'm sure that you have an idea about what commercials are in general. So we have here, commercials are a familiar part on everyday television. Now, we have different products, we have different things that they do make commercials about. So in general, we are going to say that we have here the word advertisements or we can shorten the word and say ads. So we have your advertisements and commercials. Now we do watch them all the time. So what's the purpose? Just think about it. What do you think the main purpose is or the aim of making all these advertisements and commercials that we can see on TV? Now this is something that we are going to talk about in our new unit. So we are going to move on. Just think about what we are watching and we can see around us. Now, this is also another question that we have here. When you want to buy something, do you ever ask yourself, do I really need this? Now, sometimes when we are shopping in a supermarket or at the mall, do you ever question yourself and just look at the thing that you want to buy and ask yourself, do you really need this? So we have here something that is related between what we buy and the idea of commercials and advertisements. So we are going to move on with our fifth unit. We can see that we had the relationship between unit one and unit two when we said that we are going to just go on from teamwork in general to individual success. And we related individual success here with the projects that we have here in the future that we took in unit three. What will they think of next? And then we related between technology and different kinds of devices with TV, which made us move on to our unit, unit four, which is what, or we have here the world of TV in general. And from the world of TV, we are going to take the basic topic here, which is advertisements and commercials, and what do we see around us? And we are going to start with our unit, unit five, which is here, do you really need it? So starting with unit five here, do you really need it? We have the first lesson, which is the listen and discuss lesson. Now, as we are used to always, we are going to start by seeing our objectives. So we have the objectives. Number one, to enumerate the aims of advertisements. Number two, to give personal thoughts about the use of things advertised. Number three, to infer the meaning of new vocabulary through context. And number four, we are going to answer questions. So moving on with our topic here. Now we did mention that we see advertisements on TV, but we also can see them other places. So where can you see advertisements in general? We can see that from this picture, this is not on TV, so we can see ads everywhere. You can see them in different places, like for example, the streets. We can see that there are also different parts like we have here, of course, we mentioned TV. We have also, we have the kinds of booklets or flyers that sometimes we can see in supermarkets and so on. Billboards. We have also at restaurants sometimes or cafes, there are some types of advertisements and of course the basic part which is social media. 
So we know that there are many platforms and in all these platforms online, we can see different advertisements. Now moving on, we can see that we see advertisements everywhere and for everything. Now we can see, for example, that we have here different food products, also body products. We have food in general, we have restaurants, cafes. Also, we have household products. There are advertisements for household products. And we can see in general that advertisements are about anything that you can just imagine. So just to think about it, think about all the different things, the types that I did mention and other things that I didn't mention and you can think of. So think of different advertisements that you see everywhere and sometimes advertisements are very unique that you are very attracted and you may remember them for a long time. Now we have the first question here. Do you think you are influenced by advertisements? Explain. So when we said, or when I said that we have some advertisements are unique and you are attracted to them, this means that sometimes you do get, you do get influenced by them. So if you did get influenced by them and you do remember some advertisements, just think about it and try to discuss with someone around you, your classmate or your friend, what is the type of advertisement that you do remember and why do you think it is so special? Number two, describe an advertisement that you think is memorable or effective. So based on the first question, you are going to describe what was so special about this kind of advertisement and why was it so special or memorable in your uh, mind. Now, before we start, as usual, when we start our discussion and the different points that we have in the listen and discuss, we are going to pass by the vocabulary that we have. So you have your vocabulary exercise, which is on page number 69. Now, I'm going to give you just one second to read the word. I'm going to follow up. Now we have number one, the first word, admire. Number two, this one is easy, we have here brand. Number three, we have exclusive. Number four, this one is familiar. Do you remember it from unit four? We have formula. Unit five, we have or number five, sorry, we have intended. Then number six, we have here, this one is a long one, but you can just divide it a little bit. We have here revolutionary, revolutionary. And we have number seven, sophisticated. Now remember the lesson about consonant clusters and how some consonants, they are clustered together. So when you have a big word like revolutionary or sophisticated, it will be easier for you just to remember the consonant clusters and try to pronounce them together. Now on the other side, we do have the meanings. So we have the first meaning A, meant or planned. B, causing big change. C, combination of ingredients. D, respect. E, having high class tastes. F, belonging only to one, usually a company. G, the name that identifies a product or a manufacturer. So the first step is that we have read both parts. We read the words and the meanings. So if you do already know some of these words, you can just simply match between them. If you don't, it's okay, we're going to move on with our lesson. Now, as we can see here that we have the vocabulary check, we are going to start with our lesson. So just to make sure that we have here the meanings or the words are very clear, remember that we have here admire is a verb. Brand here is a noun. Exclusive is an adjective. You are describing. Formula is a noun. 
Now, do you remember when we talked about movie formulas and how they are a combination? Now, this is a hint for you. Intended is a verb. Revolutionary, you're describing, it's an adjective. And sophisticated is an adjective as well. So moving on, we are going to start with the text that we have in the book. So if you do open your book and see that we have different parts. Now these parts here, they are on page number 68 and 69. You can see that there are different types of things. Now related to advertisements, they are actually advertisements. We are going to read these different types of advertisements. And as usual, we are going to read the questions that we have and answer. So put in mind that you are going to read and also you are going to listen. We are going to read the questions, you are going to listen, and then we'll answer. So we have the first advertisement, the BMX 3000 sports car. Now we know that the advertisement is about sports car. We do have our questions ready. We have the first one. What kind of car is this? The second one, what will happen if you drive this car? So listen and try to find the answers. Starting. Introducing the new BMX 3000. Set yourself apart from the crowd with a car as modern and sophisticated as you are. The BMX 3000 has everything you ever dreamed of, speed, beauty, power, and performance. But be prepared for the attention, wherever you go, people will watch and admire you in your BMX 3000. Wake up and get into the car of your dreams. Drive a BMX 3000, because you only live once. So we have here the text. We read the advertisement here. Now we do have the first question, what kind of car is this? Now when you look for the answer, we can see that we have here the BMX 3000 has everything you have ever dreamed of. You can see that it has speed, beauty, power, and performance. So our answer is, it is a fast, beautiful sports car. The second question, what will happen if you drive this car? Now you can see after that, directly after our first answer that we have here, wherever you go, people will watch and admire you. So we have the answer, if I drive, or you can say if you drive this car, everyone will watch and admire me or admire you. So you can use both pronouns here. You can use either I or you. Now, moving on here, we have two words that are mentioned in the paragraph. So you can see here that we do have the word sophisticated and we have the word admire. So just to make sure that we have the complete meaning here. Now, we have these two pictures. They show sophistication, which is the noun. So I can say that this man is sophisticated and also I can give you an example. I think a more sophisticated approach is needed to solve this problem. So we have here the word sophisticated from the pictures. And if I say that there is a sophisticated approach, I can behave or I can treat something with sophistication. So we have this is the first word and the second word admire. Now admire also is a word that we have passed by before. Now we can say, for example, I admire you for your high morals. So going back to our exercise here, we have here something mentor planned, causing a big change, combination of ingredients, or respect. Now we can see that there is a very rela big relationship between the word admire and we have here respect, as we said in the famous figures in unit two. So we have here admire is going to be D, Completing, we have here having high class tastes, belonging only to one or the name that identifies a product. Now, so from the man and his suit, we can see that we have the word sophisticated. Number seven goes with E, which is having high class tastes. Now, let's move on with our second advertisement. We have here floral essence shampoo. So you're going to listen. We have here, first of all, the questions. What will happen if you use this shampoo? And number two, what have studies shown? Starting. Put an end to dull, lifeless hair with Floral Essence Shampoo. Floral Essence contains 28 vitamins and minerals, 
so your hair will shine with health. Studies show that Floral Essence's exclusive new formula makes your hair twice as strong, while protecting your hair against the harmful effects of wind and sun. Use Floral Essence Shampoo for strong and healthy hair. Now we have the first question, what will happen if you use this shampoo? We can see the answer is here. Your hair will shine with health. So we have the first answer, my hair will shine with health, or I can say your hair. So both pronouns can be used here. So my hair will be shiny and strong, or your hair will be shiny and strong. Then we have here the second question, what have studies shown? So you're going to look for the word studies here, and we can see that we have here, makes your hair twice as strong while protecting your hair against the harmful effects of wind and sun. So we're going to just restructure here the answer and say, it makes my hair twice as strong, protects my hair against wind and sun, or you can use the other pronoun, your. Now we do have the words, we have exclusive and also formula, so we are going to move on and see what are the words. Let's just see here, yes. Now we have the word exclusive. So exclusive here, we do have these two pictures. You can see that something is VIP or we have, it shows something is very special. And there is also an example here. We can say that they have an apartment in an exclusive part of town. So it gives you an idea of importance. Also, the word formula, as I mentioned, that there are movie formulas or film formulas. Also, we have here, you can see that this girl, for example, she's working in a lab, chemistry. Also, there is something here dealt with some kind of combination. So it's very close to the meaning that we took in Unit 4. Now we can see that there is a relation. We can say that there are several types of formulas, such as film, baby, chemical, chemistry, mathematical, or a way to do something in general. So I can say that we have here, there is no formula for success, which means that there is no special way. Now, going back to the exercise here, we have done D and E, so we can see that we have, for example, the word exclusive. Now, from the meanings that we read, the meaning is going to be very clearly F, which is belonging to only to one. And we have here the other word formula under it. Now, we can see that I did mention the word combination several times. So we have here C, which is combination of ingredients. Now moving on to our third advertisement here, we have a laundry detergent. So let's listen. Now before listening, we do have the questions, why is the detergent better than others? And we have the second question, what can this detergent do? Starting. Trying to get rid of tough laundry stains can be frustrating. Luckily, there's Dynex laundry detergent. Dynex has 33% more cleaning power than the next leading brand. If Dynex won't work, nothing will. Yet, while Dynex is powerful enough to get out the worst stains, it is gentle enough to use with all your clothes. Give it a try and see the Dynex difference for yourself. Unless your clothes look their best, you won't feel your best. So we have the first question, why is this detergent better than others? Now we can see that there is something mentioned as a comparison, which is exactly here we can say that more cleaning power than the next leading brand. So we have here the answer is going to be this detergent is better than others because it contains more cleaning power. The second question, what can this detergent do? Now we can see here the answer. We have here Dynex is powerful enough to get out the worst stains. So just to restructure the answer, this detergent can get out the worst stains. Now we do have one word from the words that we have in the vocabulary check, which is the word brand. Now we basically know that every product or many famous places, they do have names or brands. So clearly here we have the word brand. We can say that there are well-known brands in the worldwide marketing, for example. Now you can see that there are different things here and each thing does have a name or a label or a brand. So going back to the exercise, from the word name, we have here brand is related to G, 
which is the name that identifies a product or a manufacturer. Now moving on to the fourth advertisement that we have here. Now we have something about spring watcher. So let's just read and see here what are the questions. We have here three questions. We do have how is crystal spring water different? The second, where does it come from? You're, as, you're looking for a place. And we have number three, what else is special about it? So start listening and we do have a longer paragraph here. When you drink crystal spring water, you refresh your body with 100% all natural spring water. Unless you like lots of artificial additives in your water, you'll love the pure, clean refreshment of crystal spring water. Collected straight from a Swiss mountain spring, with nothing added and nothing changed, crystal spring is water the way nature intended it. And at Crystal Spring, we are committed to taking care of the environment. Our plastic bottles are 100% recyclable and use 50% less plastic. Drink crystal spring water because it's good for your body and good for the environment. So the first question was, how is crystal spring water different? Now, also, there is a kind of comparison here. We are comparing, and we do know that this water is different. So you can see the answer here. Now, 100% all natural spring water with nothing added and nothing changed. Here, we can say that it is all natural with no additives. In the second question, where does it come from? So as I mentioned, it is a place. Now we can see that the place here mentioned is collected straight from a Swiss mountain spring. So our answer is it comes from a Swiss mountain spring. And the last question, what else is special about it? Now from the points that are mentioned, we do know that it's good for your body and good for the environment. So this is going to be our third answer. And we do have one word from the vocabulary check, which is the word intended. Now intended here, as I mentioned before, it is a verb. So we have your intended it comes from the verb or the basic verb, which is intent. Now we know that we have the past sense from uh, intend here. Now you can see that there is an aim or a target. There is something that I want to reach. So here we can say that we intend to visit the Holy Mosque in Al Medina next month. So this is an aim. This is something that we want to do. Now going back to our basic exercise in the book, we do have the word intended, number five, and we can see that we have here two left. Now we can see that we have here B, which is causing big change. And we do have also the other one. So we have finished D, G, C or F, C and E. So what do we have left also? We have A, which is meant or plant. So what do you think? Which one is closer to intended? Is it meant or planned, something that I mean to do or plan? Or the other meaning here we have here, which is causing big change. So here very clearly, it is going to be A. Now moving on to our last advertisement here. We have something about shoes or about sneakers. So we have this kind of shoes here. These are what we call sneakers. Now we have your planet Mercury sneakers. So they are named based on the planet Mercury. Now we have the questions. We have the first one. If you wear these sneakers, what will you be able to do? And we have the second question. Who wears these sneakers? So you're asking about an action and also you're asking, or sorry, you're looking for an action and you are looking for uh, a person. So let's start with the listening. Until you put your feet in Planet Mercury sneakers, you won't know what they are capable of. With Planet Mercury's revolutionary new patented sneaker technology, you can run faster, jump higher, and perform better. Why settle for less when you can have the best? Take it from NBA star Derek Larkin who says, I wouldn't wear anything else on the court. Join the Planet Mercury generation. Don't let everyone else have all the fun. So we have our first question. If you wear these sneakers, what will be able to do? Now, when you are wearing these sneakers, you will be able to do different things. Now we can see that we have here different actions. For example, run faster, jump higher, and perform better. So this is going to be our answer if I wear 
these sneakers, I will be able to run faster, jump higher, and perform better. And if you use the other pronoun you, it's okay, it's the same meaning. Who wears these sneakers? Now we can see that there is something mentioned about an NBA star. Now we have here in the paragraph, an NBA star is wearing these sneakers. We have our last word, which is revolutionary. So just to make sure that you do know that, we have here the revolutionary word has many meanings. Now, actually, I can show you that all of these meanings are associated or related to the word revolutionary. But in our paragraph, we have the colored part, which is the green. We can say that revolutionary is something new, like the sneakers, creative, innovative, futuristic, pioneering. They are untried, or we can say that they are unknown. So just put in mind that you have a lot of meanings for the word revolutionary, but we are going to relate to what we have here in the lesson. So we have here the last word revolutionary is associated to, we have here, B, which is something causing big change. So these are the answers for the exercise. We have here D, G, F, C, A, B, and E are related to the words that we have here. Now, basically, as usual, you do have to relate. And this is what we're going to do in our next lesson, inshallah. We are going to use the new vocabulary and relate to other examples so we will not, inshallah, forget them. Now, as an assignment for you, we have on page number 69, the comprehension questions, answer the questions about the advertisements. So we are going to check again the answers of these questions that we have here mentioned. Now, at the end of our lesson, the outline is, we have, first of all, we discussed the topic about advertisements in general. Then we understood the context through words. Now, you can see that a few words can help us understand the whole. We didn't read every single word, but we understood what is the topic about. We defined vocabulary, and at the very end, there are opinions about what are the basic uh, um, items that we have here in the advertisements and we are going to complete in our discussion in the next lesson inshallah also we have of course to answer the first exercise that we have in the book and we're going to do the other one as our assignment so till the next lesson do your homework and we'll complete in the next lesson inshallah